Hi everyone, this is Pasha. In this video, I want to show you how to analyze the performance of keywords for your Amazon campaigns using Excel files and pivot tables and how to make bid adjustments in bulk if your account contains hundreds or thousands of products. If you are running campaigns for only a handful of products, it would be easy. You just go to your campaign manager on Amazon interface Look at the data and the performance of your keywords and make the necessary changes to the bids. But if your account contains hundreds or thousands of products, it would be impossible to check each keyword on the platform manually one by one and make the changes. That's where we need bulk operations. In my screen, uh, this is the home page, the main page of Amazon, Interf Amazon Ads Interface Campaign Manager. Uh, on the left menu, we click on the Sponsored Ads and then Bulk Operations. Here you can download your files uh, including campaigns, ad groups, uh, keywords, ads and their data for the time range, range that you want. Uh, you usually want to look at the performance uh, for the past week, past two weeks or past months. Uh, so that there are significant data in your files. After you select your date range, uh, in exclude, uh, I would prefer to uncheck campaign items with zero impressions because I want my exported file contains all campaigns, even the ones that have zero impressions. And after that, just you need to, uh, select, uh, to click on create a spreadsheet for download. I've already done, uh, done that. Uh, when you click on that, your file, exported file appears here. Uh, so you click on download to download your file. I am opening this file. You could uh, use either Excel or Google Sheet, uh, whichever is easier for you. Because I am going to work on with pivot tables, I find uh, uh, working with pivot tables on Excel files more comfortable than Google Sheets. So that's why I'm using Excel. Your exported file contains three sheets. The first sheet, Portfolios, includes the list of all the portfolios that you have created, created in your account. Uh, we don't need that, so we delete that. The last sheet is sponsored brands campaigns. I'm not running any sponsored brand campaign on this account, so I am deleting this one too. So this sheet, a sponsored products campaigns, is the data that we need. The first thing that you want to do with your data, uh, these columns, impression, click, spend, orders, total units, and sales. Even though their uh, data, their values appear, uh, look like numbers, but uh, actually they are stored as text. So you want to change the format of this uh, data from text to dates so that you can make a change adjustment to, uh, to your numbers. It's easy. Uh, you just need to select all the data in those columns. Uh, using this sign, as you see, uh, they are currently numbers stored as text. You want to select the second option, convert to number. Great, now all these data are actual numbers. Another column that you want to change the format is this column max bid. Max bid shows the current bid uh, for your campaigns, ad groups, ads, and keywords. And they are again uh, stored as text. You want to co convert the format to number. Again, select all the data in that column and convert to number. All right, our data are ready now. We can start working on our data. I am going to move our data into pivot table so that the, the data will be easier to read. On the top menu, insert, select pivot table, okay. For the rows, uh, the fields that I need are record type, campaign, ad group, 
keywords or product targeting and match type first we need to make some changes to the format and design of our pivot table for pivot tables I always prefer I usually prefer to uh, change the format of uh, my pivot table uh, just select somewhere on data on your pivot table right click and select this option pivot table options on format section for this option for error values show blank I am going to select this if you don't select this uh, the blank cells will be uh, shows will be shown as weird values in your pivot table I don't like that I want my blank cells to be shown as blank so I'm selecting this and also this option autofill col column read on update I am going to un uncheck this option if uh, you let it stay selected every change that you make to your pivot table the column read uh, will change based on the data on that column I would prefer my column width to be fixed so I am unchecking that and ok now to make the data easier to read uh, I am going to change the design of my pivot table on the top menu uh, select somewhere on your pivot table data on the top menu select design and uh, this option report layout I am going to select show in tabular form again report layout repeat all item labels for grand totals off for rows and columns and uh, subtotals do not show subtotals all right now it's easier to read the data Uh, because we want to uh, work on keywords and make adjustment to beats for keywords on record tables rec record type I am going to unselect every option and just select a keyboard so that my pivot table only shows data for the keyboards on the campaign name uh, as you see I have uh, many campaigns with async targeting automatic targeting manual targeting I have included the targeting uh, uh, settings into the name so that it's easier for me to read uh, the campaign names uh, because only manual key uh, manual campaigns contain keywords so and we want to update the keyword bits I, I just want to type uh, manual so that only manual campaigns are shown in my pivot table excellent now for values uh, the data that I need spend impressions clicks max speed be careful sometimes when you add data to your values they are by default selected as count count you want to your values all be sum like the other ones if it is uh, by default selected as count just uh, right click on the title uh, select this option summarize values by sum instead of count now we have a spend impressions clicks and max speed in our pivot table in order to check the performance and analyze data I want to look at the ROAS and ACOS and maybe other metrics click to click through rate, CTR, conversion rate, CVR, or even CPCs. Uh, those, those data, ROAS, uh, ACOS, and others are actually calculated fields that you create using the, your raw data. For ROAS, I am going to make a, a calculated field using this option on the menu, Pivot Table Analyze. Here, Fields, Items, and Sets, and so I select Calculated Field. I am going to create a new field called ROAS. The ROAS is a formula that is calculated by 
uh, like this uh, sales or revenue divided into spend once again here I am creating a column called ROAS and this is the formula for ROAS equal sales divided into spend so that I can look at the performance of keywords. I can look at the ROAS of the keywords. It's one of the most important metrics when you want to analyze your the performance of your campaigns. Another field, uh, as you see, ROAS is uh, ROAS columns is added here. Another field that could be useful, ACOS, advertising cost. Uh, we the formula for ACOS is exactly the opposite of uh, ROAS. This time, spend or cost uh, divided into sales. Uh, I could change the format of uh, my A cost to percentage and another column that might be useful for us could be useful certainly is CPC or cost per click uh, to see uh, what is the current CPC for each keyboard again a new calculator field I call it CPC and the formula to calculate CPC is the spend in, uh, divided into clicks I can change the format of my columns if uh, it makes it easier to read that data CPC and spend they are uh, dollars uh, currency so I'm changing it, them to currency and Yes, this is the data that we need. We have for this uh, uh, rows and dimensions. The reason that we need them is that when you want to upload your Excel file into Amazon and update uh, your bids and make changes to your bids through Excel files and bulk operation, your file must contain all these columns so that uh, Amazon could read those data so that is why I need all this data uh, because uh, usually you know uh, filtering data in pivot tables is, is a little tricky so I am going to copy the data from my pivot table into a new uh, sheet uh, so that I can play with data easier I am copying uh, first the values, opening a new sheet here, copying data here, and again copy the data for my rows and copying here, paste here. Uh, I am going to replace this phrase sum of uh, data with blank uh, so the data is easier to read and I filter my the first row in my data the headline the titles of each column column so that uh, I, I can see what column is what data you go to top you select the first row Go to the top, view, freeze pane, freeze top row. Excellent. Now we have all the data that we want. Now is the time to analyze the data and make the adjustments. First, I'm going to move this uh, column max speed to the last column. And because we want to update the beats, I am uh, adding a new column and call it new max speed. I am highlighting it to green so that it's easier to notice. Based on the data, uh, I want to update the current beats. If they are performing well, I want to increase the beats. If they are not performing well, I want to decrease, reduce beats. And if they are not getting impression, again, I want to increase beats so that uh, they spend and get impressions. 
So I am going to uh, filter my data. Select the first row data filter. I am going to uh, filter the span column for to show me the data for spans for the keywords that have spent higher than thirty dollars in my time range date range. The reason for that is that uh, you you want to your data to be significant. If uh, a keyword has spent only five dollars and the ROAS is zero, you cannot necessarily conclude that that keyword is performing bad uh, because the spend is very low, the data are not significant. So you want to just look at the data uh, that have you know, significant amount of spend so that you have some significant, statistically significant data. So I am going to number my, uh, to filter my spend numbers, uh, only show keywords with that spend greater than $30. I type 30 here. Here uh, now my file uh, is filtered and shows only the key the keyboards with the spend higher than thirty dollars. Now uh, I want to see which keywords that have significant amount of spend do not have a high ROAS, a good ROAS. My target ROAS is seven. Uh, I want to uh, improve my campaigns so that the ROAS uh, becomes uh, about seven so that my campaigns uh, will be profitable. So the first thing is that uh, for the ones that have a very low ROAS, for example, let's say ROAS below three, I want to reduce bids uh, so that they spend less because the ROAS is not profitable there, uh, to me. Now, after filtering the spend column, uh, for higher than 30, I am going to make another filter in ROAS column and this time uh, ROAS less than 3. Now these keywords are on the keywords that have spent higher than $30 and the ROAS is below 3. You could decide either to pause all these keywords uh, because they're not performing well or reduce their beads so that they spend less. I am going to uh, reduce my bead currently for this low performing keyboard by 30% and I'm going to use a, uh, use a formula for that. To reduce your beads by percentage, your formula is like this. Equal, select your cell, uh, source cell uh, max bead and minus Again, your max speed, and because I want to reduce them by 30%, uh, here I need to type 0.3. Now I'm copying the, that formula to other cells too, to other keyboards, to the new max speed cells for other keyboards too. When I copy that formula, uh, the formula gets updated based on the value in the respective cell. Excellent. Now the first step is done. What we did here, we reduced the ROAS for the low performing keyboards, the keywords that have ROAS higher, lower than 3 by 30% so that it, they spend less. In the next step, as I said, my target ROAS is 7 and above. So the ones that, uh, the keyboard that the, ro the ROAS is between 3 and let's say between 3 to 5, they are still uh, not profitable enough for me. So I am going to decrease their bids too, but this time by a lower percentage. I am going to change the filter for ROAS column. This time, instead of less than, I will select between. I am going to select uh, the, the field to filter the keyboards that are, the, the ROAS is between uh, 3 and 5. Now, these keyboards, as you see, the ROAS is between 3 to 5. Again, I am going to reduce their beads 
but this time by less percentage, let's say by 20 percentage. Again, the same formula to reduce the bead for 20%, I need to type 0 0.2. I copy the formula to other cells too, and here what we did is uh, trying to reduce the max speed, the current max speed for the keyboard with average ROAS by 20%. Now, uh, we might have some keyboards with ROAS above hey, 8. They are excellent keyboards for us. So, we want to increase their beats a little so that they might spend more. This time, I am going to change the filter on my ROAS column. Uh, show me the keyboard with ROAS greater than 8. These are great keyboards for me. They are performing well. The ROAS is very well. So, I am going to increase their beat slightly. I don't want to increase too much because increase the beats too much because it might increase the CPCs and increasing the CPCs will uh, might result in lower ROAS. Uh, so, I, uh, I am just going to increase their beats by a very low percentage, let's say 5%. To increase uh, number by per, by percentage in Excel uh, instead of minus here you use, use plus sign for 5% uh, I need to type 0 0.05 great what we did here is uh, filtering our well performing keyboards and increase their current beats by 5%. Now one uh, one other thing that I what I want to do is that uh, I I might have a lot of keyboards that do not get uh, much impression enough impression. Uh, you want your uh, keyboards to spend money to get impressions so that way you can see if they are performing well or not and you you can make sales through them if the keyboard is not spending uh, enough is not spending anything is not getting much impression so uh, one thing that you could do is just try to increase their beads uh, so that they become more competitive again i filter my first row this time i am going to filter uh, based on impression column and select only keyboards uh, that have uh, less Im impressions less than 100 in my time range. Uh, there are many keyboards which are not spending or spending, spending very low, their impression is very low. So I want to increase their beats so that they can spend more. Let's say the current beat, uh, I want to increase uh, the current beat by 20%. I copy this formula to all cells what we did here is filtered our data for the key to show our keywords with impression less than 100 and we are increasing their beats by 20% the reason is that we want to be uh, these keywords to become more competitive. All right, our data are ready. Uh, as you saw, we only in 15 minutes, in 20 minutes, we were able to make bid adjustment to, let's say, thousands of keywords. Now, what we need to do is just to upload this file into Amazon interface. We. I'm going to filter my first row again. Uh, I am going to filter my uh, the data based on the new column and uh, new max bead and filter out the rows, the keyboards that are blank. I am doing that because I don't want to make any changes 
to the keywords that I didn't make change to their bid. I just want to update the keywords that I updated their bids. I just want to uh, update these keywords that have a new bid. I am going to copy all this data into a new file, new Excel file. Uh, be careful, because we use formula, uh, we don't uh, want to copy the formula again. We just want to uh, paste the uh, value of those formula. So instead of control V or paste, when you want to paste your formula data, the, your data that includes formula in a new Excel file, use this option. Right click and just paste the values. This was our new max speed column. As you see, they are not formula again. They are just values. We are need to change the name of uh, this, the title of this column uh, because uh, it should be, it must be the same as Mac, what we down, downloaded in the exported file. It should be uh, max speed. So we remove the previous max speed column. Uh, we put all our new data in max speed. This data column, this value column, we don't need them. We remove them. We don't need to upload them. And this is our file ready to upload it in, the, in Amazon. If we want to read the, this, uh, file this uh, data for example row the second row is going to tell amazon for this keyword uh, the, the keyword in row two uh, with with the match type broad because i might have this keyword in other match types too exact or phrase but i just want to update the beads for the broad match type based on the performance that we just analyzed for this uh, keyword in broad match type in this ad group in this campaign, I want to uh, upload to change the max speed to this new number. And the record table is going to tell Amazon that the data that we want to update is keywords, not ads or campaign or anything else. So I am going to save this file. Uh, I am going to name it as Amazon speed updates. You, you, I would suggest uh, add a date to the end of your fi file so that when you look at in the future, you can find out your files easily. Amazon bid updates. This is the name of our file. We saved our file. Uh, we go back to Amazon interface. Uh, and all we need to do is just to, up to upload the file. Here in the third step, where it says upload your file to update your campaigns, we choose file. Our new file is called Amazon Bid Updates. And you just press this button. You just click on this button, upload to process changes, and Amazon will update your file uh, your changes to your campaign and make the change, make the adjustments. Uh, the upload time is very fast on Amazon. If by any chance there is any error in your file here in the status, after the processing is finished, it will give an, a status finished with errors. Uh, in my previous file, uh, I had 1000 errors uh, in my rows. So you download report, you see which rows had the errors, you go and look into them, you, co you could correct them. And they, again, you can uh, you upload the new file after you make changes. And if there is not any error, if they upload correctly uh, all the data, it will tell you finished successfully. And yes, as you saw, it was very easy to make adjustment to thousands of rows, uh, data. It could be bid adjustment for keywords or other day, other uh, updates that you want to make. It took something like only 15 minutes, 20 minutes to play around with data and make the changes. If you have any question, 
uh, I hope you liked it, you enjoyed this video uh, I hope uh, it was useful for you if you have any question regarding ad advertising on Amazon or how to read your data how to analyze the performance of your data in Excel files in, in pivot tables feel free to post some comments and ask your questions thank you for watching this video